Are you serious? Flat. That sucks. G'day guys, welcome back to another video. So if you're like me, you've just realized that your lithium LiPo 4 or iTech 120X battery has just gone flat and it's gone into safe mode. Now, if you've been looking into lithium for a while, you'd know that once these things go into safe mode, you have to wake them up. You have to give them a little bit of a charge, a little bit of a kickstart just to wake them up so they can start accepting some charge and charge back up to 100%. Now, most brands and manufacturers out there, including iTech World, will suggest using either a jump starter, a set of jump leads hooked onto your car battery to wake it up so that you can hook on a 240 volt charger or run your DC-DC. Now, I don't have any of that stuff on me, so what I'm gonna show you today is a way to use your Victron DC-DC charger to wake your battery up and then start putting some charge in. All right, guys, let's get into it. Now, guys, if you're interested in the Victron gear, I'll leave links down in the description below for all that sort of stuff. Also, I'll leave a link to the iTech World 120X battery. We do have a discount code for you guys. Um, it's, I'll leave it up on screen now and in the description box below. That's good for 5% off anywhere over there at iTech World. So if you're looking for any gear over at iTech World, guys, use that code down there and it'll save you a little bit of money. The first thing you have to do before you even try to start waking up a battery is disconnect all your loads. So disconnect your fridge, your travel buddy, uh, any USB or SIGI outlets that you've got plugged in, where as soon as you power up, it's gonna try to start drawing power. Disconnect all that stuff straight away. If you can't disconnect it, switch it off or pull the fuses, trip your circuit breakers, just disconnect it somehow. So let's get around and do that first. So now that all your loads are disconnected, it's a good idea to just make sure that you're gonna have no inputs coming in. So whether that be from solar or a direct DC-DC charge. So for us, we run the Victron MPPT 100-20, so 20 amp solar controller from Victron Energy. Luckily for us, we can go in and turn that charger off remotely just using the Bluetooth Victron Connect app. So I'll show you that now, I'll cut it up on the screen. If you do run the Victron MPPT solar controller, you can go straight into the Victron app, go into your solar controller, come into the settings and go to battery and the third option down, charger enabled, turn, go ahead and turn that to off. You get a little warning that'll say charge is going to be disabled and the battery's not going to charge. This is for maintenance purposes only, so go and hit OK. Now the reason you want to do this is just so once your battery wakes up, it doesn't get a full hit of solar charge or DC DC charge or whatever charge you're trying to pump in. It doesn't get that full hit of charge straight away. It's just going to be a little bit softer on the battery and let that wake up process actually happen. Righto, so now that you've got your solar charge disconnected, we'll jump into the Victron Connect app and connect to our Orion DC-DC charger. So I'll put this up on the screen as well so you can follow along. But basically we just wanna go into the app, connect to the Orion Smart. Now, I've disabled the charge already, but you can do exactly the same thing that you've done with the solar controller. Go into your settings, over to battery settings, and then charger enable, just turn that one to off. So what we're gonna do to wake this up is we're gonna go into the settings and change the function from charger to power supply. Now you see there, we've got output enabled. So the output enabled just means we can output power to the battery. So now we're in the battery settings, it's pretty important to get this right. So right here where you can see output voltage, that is going to be specific to your battery. So for us, the iTech World battery is gonna be 13.5 volts. That's the float voltage of the iTech 120X. Now, if you've got a different brand of battery, that might be slightly different. So be sure to check your specification, be sure to read the section on waking up your lithium battery and figure out what voltage your particular battery needs. All right, now that you get all your voltages set, you can go ahead and turn your output on. All right, so now all our voltages are set, our output's enabled, let's start the car and see how this thing goes. All right, you guys should be able to see there on screen that the Orion is actually pumping in 26 amps. So remember, we're not set as a battery charger, we're set as a power supply. So the Orion is just supplying the power that the iTech battery needs to power itself back up again and come back to life. So right now it's sitting at 26 and a half amps. Now, once that battery is woken up 
and has enough power to support itself, that will just drop back to nothing. It'll just be trying to supply the loads in the car, whatever loads they are. Righto, so now that your battery's woken up, you can go ahead and turn your solar charger back on. So we can go into the app, just go into the solar charger, go to battery and start your charge again. Might take a few seconds, but once it starts up, it'll just start charging as normal. And there you go, straight away we're back to bulk charging and it's gonna ramp up as high as it can. This is just the way that I like to do it. I like to put my solar charger on first and trickle that charge in a little bit lighter. And then I'll go back to my Orion and change that from a power supply back to a charger. And that'll just make sure you're getting the right charge profile back into your battery. You're not flooding it with just bulk power and it's gonna actually get through the bulk charge, the absorption charge, and then back into float charge for your maintenance as well. All right, so that's the way that you wake up your iTech World lithium battery using nothing more than your Victron DC-DC charger. Now, if you guys wanna know what's going on next with the ute, with the canopy, with the van, what's happening on the channel, be sure to check out the video on screen now, and I'll see you guys over there.